Hey guys, it's Kesant. We're back again with another video. This one's going to be about bested slot gear for Rangers in the Planes of Power era. If you do like this video, please make sure to like it and also please subscribe to the channel. So I ended up making my own Ranger on Front of A. So you can kind of see what the stats are going to look like. Wow, thanks Kesant. That's really incredible. Oh yeah, so I forgot to mention, I actually had this inventory window open the entire time I was making this video and didn't realize it until the end. So ignore this part and we're going to just talk about the uh, profile down here in the bottom right. Oh yeah, and like and subscribe. On a, on a live character, you're not going to see 9700 health. You're probably going to see more around 8900 health with this setup. And for mana, you're going to see around 8000, maybe 8100 mana if you're on like a TLP server. Uh, one thing I wanted to note is heroic stacks don't affect your bow damage. So if you just have like crappy gear, but you have max worn attack, you're gonna do roughly the same amount of damage as somebody who's completely best. Uh, the benefit of being best for Rangers is uh, melee damage, and also you're gonna be a lot more tanky, so you're not gonna die, you're not gonna just fall over. So for earring number one, we have hoop, Silver Hoop of Speed. This is gonna give you full heroic decks. It has really strong stats. It also is going to give you a overhaste of 5%. Now, this doesn't stack with the bard overhaste, but it overlaps with it. So, if there's no bard around, this is a really good item to have. The other item is Zeering of Zoth Core. This is going to give you 2 heroic decks and 15 attack. For the necklace, there's two options. Number one is Talisman of Vah Kurth. And this one's considered a little bit better because it has 6 heroic strength on it. Um, if you get up to 10 heroic strength, all your melee hits will do 1 extra damage per hit. So it's kind of minimal, but the nice thing about this is every piece of heroic strength, every point of heroic strength will give you an extra damage shield. So six heroic strength will give you six extra damage shield when you're being hit. It also has 20 attack on it and it has eight mana regen, which is kind of hard to come by for Rangers in Plane of Time. It also has um, a little bit of regen on it. An alternative to this is Collar of Catastrophe. This will give you two heroic stamina. It also has 30 attack on it. Next, we have the mask. It's Mask of Strategic Insight. This will give you three heroic decks and also has 25 attack. For the helm, we have Coif of Flowing Time. This will give you 40% haste. This won't be your best haste item, but it is nice that it has that haste on it. Um, it, you can also, it also has 20 attack on it as well. For ring number one, we have Bane of Prismatic Focus. This will give you three heroic decks, and it will give you 15 attack. For ring number two, we have Timestone Adorned Ring. This will give you full heroic agility. Heroic agility is nice because it will increase both your strike through chance and also increases your evasion AC, so it's both like an offensive and a defensive stat. It also has a clicky on it that will proc a mana drain, so that's nice to have as well. And that proc will generate a little bit of aggro also. For brace number one, we have Bracer of the Inferno. This is going to give you four heroic stamina, three heroic decks. It also has Quickening of Druzzle, which will increase your spell haste by 23%. Now this is only going to work on spells that are take longer than three seconds to cast, so just keep that in mind. For Bracer number two, we have Bracer of Precision. This will give you four heroic stamina. 20 attack. It also has an ice direct damage mod on it, so it'll increase your direct damage ice spells by up to 35%. For the arms, we have temporal chainmail sleeves. This will give you 25 attack, and they also will increase, reduce the cast time of your beneficial spells by 30%. And again, that only works on spells that take three seconds or longer to cast um, by default. For the gloves, we have two options. The more expensive option is Gloves of Airy Mist. This will give you seven heroic agility and they also give you 30 attack. We're gonna see a lot of competition on these because they're best for a lot of different classes. A nice alternative to these are padded tiger skin gloves. This is gonna be a little bit cheaper, but you still might see some competition early, early on if you had just started playing in time. But these have seven heroic agility and they have 25 attack on it. Next we have the Shoulders, which is Mantle of Deadly Precision. These will give you three heroic decks. Um, you can also pick up, I'm sorry, these have 20 attack on them as well. But if you can't get these, you can also pick up Shroud of Survival. Those are only two heroic decks, uh, but those are good as well. And I'll list those as an alternative um, on the webpage. 
Another alternatives to the shoulders, if you don't want to go for the H dex route, if you, maybe you want some extra healing, you can pick up this mantle of pure spirit. This will give you 30%, up to 30% healing on your heal spells. This is optional, so whichever one is works best for you, you can pick either one up. For the breastplate, we have the just the class quest breastplate, Ashkar's Thund Thunderous Chainmail. This will give you three heroic decks. It also has Wrath of Row, which will increase the damage of your fire-based direct damage spells by up to 35%. For the cloak, we have two options. Option number one is Shroud of Eternity. This will give you four heroic strength and four heroic stamina. It also has very strong stats since it's a quorum item. Uh, it gives you five attack as well, which isn't a whole lot, but it's something. An alternative to this is Platinum Cloak of War. This will give you three heroic agility and also will give you 20 attack. So just pick whichever one works best for you. For the belt, we have Court of Temporal Weavings. This will give you 7 Heroic Agility. It also has 45% haste, so this is your best haste item. And it gives 35 attack as well. For the legs, we have Leggings of Furious Might. This will give you 2 Heroic Stamina, 3 Heroic Agility, 20 attack. For the boots, we have Winged Storm Boots. These will give you 4 Heroic Wisdom, which will also increase your spell shielding by 4%. And this is going to be your Favorun item as well. For the primary, we have Time Spinner, Blade of the Hunter. This will give you two heroic decks. It has a very good ratio of 23 damage, 22 delay. It has a pet proc on it also. For the offhand, you have a few different options. The best ratio offhand is Hammer of the Time Weaver. Uh, it has 26 damage and 24 delay. And it also procs pets. So there's actually two other options you can do other than Tam Hammer of the Time Weaver. The first one is Edge of Eternity. This one is 20 damage and 20 delay. It also has a partial stun proc on it that will do 150 direct damage as well. Me personally, this is like my favorite item in Plane of Time. I would use this over Hammer of, the Time Hammer of the Time Weaver just because I think it's more fun and I like the graphic on it. The last option you can go with is Dagger of Distraction. This is 18 damage. 3 cold damage and 20 delay. It also procs a D aggro on it. This will probably be the least expensive of the three items. For the bow, we have Bow of the Tempest. This will give you 40, this is 43 damage, 36 delay, and also has 30 attack on it and a 5% archery mod. Bows are extremely good in Planes of Power. You can do pretty competitive DPS. And you can basically just AFK auto shoot stuff and throw some direct damage and some dots out and do pretty solid damage um, in the planes of power era so this is definitely like a must-have bow for rangers it's their best bow and lastly we have the planes of power progression charm intricate wooden figurine when it's maxed out it's going to have 17 ac 90 health and 80 mana so we'll switch over here let's talk about the talk about the heroic stats really quick go down here heroic so with this setup that the character is currently wearing, you're going to have six, you're going to have 10 heroic strength. You're going to have 14 heroic stamina. You'll have 21 heroic agility. You have 23 heroic dex and you'll have four heroic wisdom. Now just keep in mind that heroic stats don't affect your bow damage. So all you really have to do to max out your bow damage is to get as much attack as possible. So this includes like worn attack and also buffs. And also you want to get the best bow possible. So in this case, Bow of the Tempest. Um, heroic stats and all the gear and everything that really comes into play more when you're actually either taking damage in melee range or you're doing uh, melee damage. So that's just something to keep in mind. So again, this profile is not on a TLP server, so his stats are higher than you're going to see. On a TLP server with the setup, you probably see around 8,900 health and around 8,100 mana or so. But that pretty much covers everything. If this was helpful, please make sure to like the video and also please subscribe. Okay, thanks guys. Bye.